The UBC 26-3 room corner test is a standard for demonstrating the performance of interior finished materials in a fire situation. An 8x12 room with a 9-foot ceiling is constructed as the test chamber. The interior walls and ceilings are covered with half-inch gypsum board, a standard suspended ceiling grid and thermoform ceiling panels are installed one foot below the ceiling, sprinklers are mounted, both penetrating the ceiling panels and above them, and a 30-pound kiln-dried wood crib is placed in one corner as a fire source. The crib is ignited, the test is allowed to run for 15 minutes, and various measurements are taken during that time to evaluate the material's performance. When exposed to heat from a fire, dropout ceiling panels distort and release from the grid. They do this at an activation temperature which is lower than that of the sprinklers located above them, giving the sprinklers clear access to extinguish the fire. Panels located directly above the fire distort and fall to the floor very quickly. Thermal couples are strategically positioned per the test standard to record temperatures at the grid, sprinkler, ceiling, and other levels. In actual use, the sprinklers would activate at their designated temperature, which is hotter than the temperature at which the panels drop out. As heat from the fire spreads, panels farther from the heat source begin to distort and release from the grid. Because the panels are lightweight, are made of self-extinguishing material, and cool quickly when they land on the floor, they don't create any additional hazards for building occupants or emergency responders who are already contending with the fire situation. Dropout ceiling panels work because, like fire suppression sprinklers, they are heat activated. Sprinklers can be located above them because the panels drop from the grid at below the sprinkler activation temperature. When heat from the fire activates the sprinklers, the panels are no longer there. Because of their material composition and very low mass, panels do not contribute significant fuel to support combustion. They simply fall to the floor and cool quickly, leaving the grid empty so the sprinklers can do their job.